हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand concept of radio wave propagation. Radio wave propagation can be broadly classified as ground or surface wave, space wave, or tropospheric and sky wave. So, radio wave propagation can be broadly classified as ground wave or surface wave. space wave or tropospheric and sky wave as you can see in this diagram we are having ground wave sky wave and space wave so this entire diagram shows the different modes of propagation used in communication system first let us understand the concept of ground wave propagation in ground wave propagation radio waves are guided by the earth and moves along the curved surface of the earth from transmitter to receiver so in ground wave propagation the radio waves are guided by the earth and it will move along the curved surface from transmitter to receiver so as you can see here these ground waves will travel along the curved surface from transmitter to receiver since waves move over the ground they are strongly influenced by electrical property of the ground since these waves move over the ground they are strongly influenced by electrical property of the ground since they move around the surface of the earth they are strongly influenced by the electrical property of the ground here the high frequency waves are strongly absorbed by the ground hence ground wave propagation is useful for low frequencies in ground wave propagation high frequency waves are absorbed by the ground so the high frequency waves will be strongly absorbed by the ground that's why ground wave propagation is useful for low frequencies and also the ground wave propagation is very reliable here the ground wave propagation will be very much reliable whatever atmospheric condition may be now let us understand space wave propagation when radio waves are transmitted by antenna these radio wave travel in straight line directly reaching receiving antenna this process is known as space wave propagation when the radio waves are transmitted by an antenna these radio waves travel in straight line and it will reach the receiving antenna this process is known as space wave propagation the space wave is made up of two components first one is line of sight wave and second one is ground reflected wave the space wave is made up of two components first one is line of sight wave and second one is ground reflected wave in line of sight wave the signal is directly transmitted from transmitter to receiver in ground reflected wave the signal is transmitted from transmitter and then it is reflected from the surface of the earth and then it will reach to the receiver now let us understand sky wave propagation in sky wave propagation radio waves are transmitted from transmitting antenna and these waves reaches the receiving antenna after reflection from the ionosphere in sky wave propagation the radio waves are transmitted from the transmitting antenna and these radio waves will reach the receiving antenna after reflection from the ionosphere so as you can see from this diagram in sky wave propagation the radio waves will be transmitted by the transmitting antenna it is reflected by the ionosphere then it will reach the receiving antenna this process is known as sky wave propagation This is about the concept of radio wave propagation 
hope you have understood the topic thank you